I bought the Scooby-Doo Ultimate Coloring Book for $2. And while the new animated series, Velma, may currently be the most terrifying transformation we've seen so far, of these beloved Scooby-Doo characters, I'm going to be stepping things up a notch. So join me as I transform this innocent coloring book into nightmare fuel. There'll be a trypophobia drawing, lots of different horror references, and even more blood and gore. So if you can't handle that, don't watch this video. And with the first transformation complete, this serves as a reminder to always have control of your dog while walking in leaded areas. This next drawing is what I would imagine Scooby-Doo to look like if he was transformed into a Resident Evil canine zombie. If you enjoy horror art, like what you're about to witness in this video, consider subscribing to my channel. I create lots of horrific parodies of popular characters, and if you subscribe, you won't miss out on what I corrupt next. I'm using a white gel pen to add gooey highlights throughout the drawing, giving it that final layer of details. It looks disgusting. Job well done, I reckon. This hellhound is looking rather hungry. I hope you brought some Scooby snacks. Otherwise, you might be on the menu. This portrait of Velma is screaming at me for a Junji Ito-inspired transformation. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. For the inking of Velma's hair, I'm using Jazz's new brush pen, which I got my hands on in my last video. So go check that out if you missed it. As you can see, this pen works great for this type of thing. So thanks, Jazza. You've added another weapon in my art supply arsenal which fits nicely alongside my fine liners used for the cross hatching of this drawing and also my white gel pen. I really like the black background of this coloring page. It makes the white highlights look extra vivid and helps make this spiral head transformation of Velma that little bit more creepy and twisted. Scooby is looking terrified at what he's seeing in the mirror, whether that's his own reflection or the mysterious masked man behind him. I'm not sure. Do you recognize this masked figure? Scooby got separated from his friends while exploring a fairground, so he's on the hunt to find the gang, but he can't seem to find them. Maybe Michael Myers knows where they've gone. Don't worry, Scooby. He'll show you where they are soon enough. Just stop running. I had some different ideas of what I wanted to do for this transformation, but I settled on a Nightmare Before Christmas themed one. The long neck is what sold me on it. Sally is such an iconic character from the Tim Burton movie, I thought I'd do a gender bender transformation. This transformation turned out way more unhinged than I first intended, but that's okay, it's just a sign of things to come. But first, let's just colour in something nice, like Velma having a good time and dancing, or whatever she's doing. This couldn't end badly, could it? Spoke too soon. I get so many people asking how I draw blood in these pictures. It's really not that complicated. I sacrifice a goat on a full moon, harvest the blood, fill it into my Copic marker, dilute it with a splash of alcohol spirits, and we're good to go. That's a joke, by the way. For the one person who didn't get it and is searching for their local farm to find a goat, don't do that. Just use a red Copic marker instead. It's pre-mixed. Way more convenient. Now it's time for a trypophobia warning. 
If you don't like drawings with lots of little holes, you should skip ahead to the next transformation. Otherwise, stick around and watch me get carpal tunnel. This drawing is so much fun. Why do I do this to myself? Scooby-Doo times Crumpet plus Eyeballs equals whatever the hell this abomination is. Welcome back anyone who skipped that last drawing. I'll ease you back into it with some regular colouring. Just relax and enjoy the pretty colours. That's enough of that. Last drawing was lots of eyeballs. Now it's time for lots of teeth. Fred's hobbies include flossing, regular visits to the dentist, and cannibalism. He also still believes in the Tooth Fairy. Next up, I'm going to add some more detail to this Funland robot. What do you get when you cross a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic and the Terminator? Well, you get this walking death machine. Silly Daphne, she really should keep an eye out for any monsters that might be nearby. I guess that's one way of keeping an eye out. Ouch. Daphne just got a painful makeover. And speaking of makeovers, I think this goofy as Wolfman needs a bit of a glow up. Give him some long nails, some sharp teeth, an even longer tongue, and soon he'll look like a monster you would actually run away from and not just laugh at. Sorry, Wolfman. Look out, Daphne. Wolfman just got his nails done, and he wants to repaint them red. After that horrific accident with Wolfman, Daphne desperately needed some facial reconstruction surgery. And I know just the surgeon. His name is Junji Ito. You may have heard of him before. Don't worry, Daphne. You'll have a new face in no time. At last, I've captured it. This is your beauty. A perfect likeness. Well, that got weird. It was a reference to the manga, okay? Let's just move along, shall we? This drawing is a representation of me running away from all of my problems. Wish me luck.
This horrific monster is based off some Dead Space concept art by the insanely talented Luke Starkey. Go check out his website or his Instagram to see more horrific creations that will give you nightmares. Let me know in the comments which was your favourite drawing from the video, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, we're at the end of another video. There was over 40 hours of drawing footage condensed into what you just watched. Thank you so much to all of my amazing patrons for supporting my channel. You guys make this possible, and I appreciate you all. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.